video about the temperature sensitivity of a Zener diode. I made another uh, video about the Zener diode and here we have in fact exactly the same circuit. 10K resistor, Zener diode and that Zener has a nominal voltage of 13 volts. And the question here is uh, when the Zener diode is cooled or is heated up, does that have an effect? So I have some ice here, 12.5 volt is now uh, over that Zener diode, though it's a 13 volt Zener, but anyway, I put the ice somewhat over the Zener, of course water conducts electricity, so uh, I have to prevent, I have to prevent that the uh, water forms a kind of uh, bridge for electricity, but perhaps now the Zener cools down somewhat. Of course I can use cooling spray, but I don't have that at the moment. So perhaps it will be visible and if not, it's not a problem. You can uh, repeat this experiment completely with cooling spray and at the same time looking on the voltmeter. The digital voltmeter with um, set to hundreds of a fault here. So perhaps uh, with this very very small piece of ice I will see an effect. Uh, 12.52 volts now on the Zener. And in fact we have a situation where that Zener is on room temperature and now it gets cooled down in a not very proper way anyway. With a cooling spray you will surely see an effect. But now the ice has almost completely melted down and I don't see any effect, but anyway, I'm sure when I heat up the Zener you will see an effect. So that was the first part of the video, throw the ice away and here is the whole setup, uh, 10k resistor. Zener, digital voltmeter, and you can ask, of course, does that make sense? When uh, such a Zener differs only on one hundredths or one tenths of a volt, depending on the temperature. Well, that is, for instance, an issue, a thing to take in account when you want to make a charger for a lead acid battery. The gas barrier of a lead acid battery is here 14.4 volts. So when the Zener gets too hot, uh, the voltage can change and the gas barrier is reached or not reached. So that's a, an effect that, ha that has to be taken in account and often you see this circuit many times published on my YouTube channel, uh, a Darlington, here the Zener, and it's nominal 30, 13 volts, but you can also see here that in fact it's not 13 volts, but 12.57 volts. So it surely has an effect, and especially on critical situations, when you charge, for instance, batteries. 
the charge voltage is critical. Of course it's not very critical in audio applications and then I mean preamplifiers etc. Uh, in many cases in, in those circuits the voltage uh, doesn't have to be very precise. Anyway, let's heat up the Zener with the soldering iron and I'm almost sure that will have an effect. You can hear the hum now when it heats up. Let's look at the And here you see that the heating up of the Zener diode has an effect, though it is in my opinion quite limited. I think it's now heated up to say 80 degrees Celsius. You see a scorch here of that soldering iron that's red hot and is close to that Zener diode. So 12.7 when it's heated up and it's, it's not a very dramatic value when it's heated up. I mean not a very dramatic change. 12.9 and uh, let's see what happens when it cools down. Where's my finger? I can feel it's very hot. Not very hot but hot, only hot. And uh, well um, here the soldering breaks, but anyway, I don't think there is a, at, at least the conclusion is that the Zener voltage does not change so much when it's heated up above um, room temperature. Now it's cooled down 12.6 and perhaps it will cool down somewhat more. So you can do all kinds of experiments with this setup. Test seners. Of course you can test the current that flows when it when it's heated up. I only measure here the voltage etc etc. So in general uh, for uh, um, circuits on room temperature uh, you don't have to take so much care about the effect when the, when the Zener heats up and the output voltage changes somewhat say in one tenth or one hundredth.